In this walkthrough, you'll learn how to work with Microsoft Forms using Power Automate Flow. Forms are a great way to collect information from both internal and external people. When someone fills out a form, the information is then made available via an Excel workbook you download from Forms. Many people find that they want to do more and automate activities after those responses. That is where Flow comes in. You can trigger Flow each time a form is filled out, then use actions to retrieve the details of that response, and then provide that dynamic content to other Flow actions. This allows you to do things such as send an email, create a new entry in Dataverse or SharePoint, or any of the other thousands of actions available within Flow. Let's look at how you would get started with building your first Flow that interacts with Microsoft Forms. First, let's take a look at our form. So if we click on Forms, we can see over here that we have a customer satisfaction survey. And this customer satisfaction survey is just a couple of quick questions of different types to get information in. So when a customer fills out this satisfaction survey, now we want to create a flow that sends an email to Megan for us. So to do that, we're going to go over to Flow. We're going to click on Create. And this is going to be an automated cloud flow. So we're going to click on Automated Cloud Flow. We'll give it a name and we'll say Forms to Megan. And then we're going to use the trigger when a new response is submitted to Microsoft Forms. So we'll click on that and we'll say Create. So this adds the trigger for us of a form. And then if we click the drop down here, we should see all the forms we've previously created. So there's our customer satisfaction survey. And so this will trigger every time that someone creates a new customer satisfaction survey. Now what we need to do is we need to get all of the response details. So to do that, we'll say new step. And here let's search for Microsoft Forms and then choose that connector. And so we can see that our one action is get response details. So if we click on the response details, it then says from what form. And so that will be the customer satisfaction survey again. And then the response ID is the dynamic content that came from when a new response is submitted. So we select that response ID. This will then provide us all of the dynamic data, all the responses to the questions. So if we go down here and say new step now, and let's send an email. So we'll say send email. And then we'll use the send email v2 connector. And we're going to just send these right now to Megan. She's in charge of customer responses. So Megan, like so. Now let's enter the subject. A customer satisfaction survey has been completed. And so then now in the body, what we're going to do is we're going to provide these responses. So if we scroll down a little bit here, we can see that the different questions come back as dynamic content. So please share any additional comments how will all of our products meet your needs, and how likely are you to recommend a company to a friend. So what we can do is we could add some text, maybe the question text to give Megan an idea of what question they're answering. So how well do our products meet your needs? And then right below it, we'll go ahead and just add the dynamic content by clicking over here on the right. So now Megan will get an email with this text and then whatever their response was here. So you could repeat this for each question. So how likely are you to recommend to a company, a friend, or colleague? And then we'll put the same dynamic content here. Oh, looks like I have an extra space there. We'll get rid of that. Perfect. And then finally, our open-ended comments like that. And then for that one, we'll go ahead and click on that dynamic content. So there you go. So now Megan would get a email with the responses and a little bit of context for each of the responses into her inbox. Now keep in mind, you could extend this further by writing this information off to one of your data sources like Microsoft Dataverse or SharePoint or SQL, or pass this through any of the other connectors available inside of Flow so that that way you can use the data in any way that meets your business needs. For other ideas on how you can interact forms with different data sources, you could click on templates over on the left and then search for Microsoft Forms to see some of the different templates available. But there you have it. Now you're ready to use Microsoft Forms and Power Automate Flows.